What's up buddies, welcome back. You're watching Hard Video Order Stuff and would you like some free lookup tables? Don't we all? I was on the excellent slider company Rhino's website the other day and I noticed they have a pack of 25 lookup tables made by established filmmakers and LUT companies and it's completely free. So I thought I'd take a look, save you some time and let you know whether it's worth downloading. Let's do it. <laughs> This isn't a sponsored video or anything, I just thought you would appreciate it and enjoy it. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up so I know, and more than anything else, if you could share this channel, I would love it with like-minded people. Much appreciated. So the five different companies' LUTs that are included in this pack are Jacob Owen's LUTs, Luke Neumann, Buttery LUTs, Halcyon, and the well-known IWLT BAP. Catchy name, bro. So diving in, let's show you what you get. This shot was shot in Canon Log in 4K, all eye mode, so pretty high megabits per second. Jumping into Final Cut now, and let's take a look at the different lookup tables. I'm gonna start with Buttery, as that's at the top of my list. And you can see you get eight different lookup tables, and they're all based on different camera companies' picture profiles. I looked through all of them, and despite not having a Canon-specific profile, I thought they were all beautiful, if a little bit contrasty. And the one I liked the most was this Ursa Mini New Creative One lookup table. And just look what happens when I apply this to the footage. Absolutely gorgeous. And bear in mind, I've done no other grading on this whatsoever. I've just applied this lookup table. So there you have it. The Ursa Mini New Creative One is my favorite lookup table from the Buttery Pack. Next, let's try out another one. And we're gonna use this clip, which is shot in Sony S-Log3 from a music video that I shot. Looking at this clip in Final Cut Pro, I know that this is gonna be a little bit more finicky to get right. Because it's S-Log3, it does just take more massaging compared to other log modes. So the first thing I need to do before I get onto applying our lookup table is to bring our exposure down because it's S-Log3, it's been overexposed. Then I'm gonna go into the curves and just create a little bit of an extra curve because I find that S-Log3 always needs this. Okay, now we're ready to apply our lookup table and this time I'm gonna go for the Jacob Owens smoke good lookup table. You get just the three with the Jacob Owens lookup tables and they're all super stylized. This is gonna take some further tweaking to get it looking right because it's S-Log3. It's to be expected, but all in all, I'm really happy with this color palette. And just to complete the look, I'm gonna add a vignette and then widescreen bars and there we have our look. The really nice thing about this is how it's brought out the colors of the graffiti behind and it's retained her skin tones. Onto our next clip, and this was shot in Sony S-Log2, and for this one I definitely want it to be nice and high contrast and punchy looking. We've got lots of highlights because I've backlit our subjects. So let's get into Final Cut and see what we can do. As this is shot in S-Log2, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit easier than our last example. So the LUTs I'm gonna choose this time are the Halcyon LUTs, and you only get two, but they are both belters. Here's the first, and it's called Daytona V2, and it's warm and beautifully contrasty. I really love it. But I want the other one, and that's called Hype Monster. It's a bit more gritty, definitely a lot cooler, but I really love the way this one handles the highlights. The only other tweaks I felt it needed were to make it slightly warmer, drop the shadows a bit, and boost the saturation. And we ended up with this. I'm super happy with these Halcyon LUTs. They're definitely gonna be staying in my library. Next, we have another shot from a music video, and this is again shot in S-Log2, and it's a shot with huge amounts of dynamic range, so I definitely need a lookup table that's not gonna crush our shadow areas. I need some detail to be left in the shadows. Onto our grading, and for this example, I'm gonna use some of the IWLT BAP LUTs. As you can see, I already have some. And you get so many that, to be honest, I'm not going to have time to show you all of them, so I'm just going to pick the one that I like for this scene. The one I chose was the F6800 Log Lookup Table. The reason I like it is because it's gentle, it doesn't crush the blacks, it preserves our shadow detail, and it does a really nice job of rolling off the highlights. I then just made a few minor exposure and colour tweaks, just to nudge things to where I want them to be. The last thing I did was to make some small tweaks to my colour curve, you know I love using colour curves just to sharpen things up and if you haven't seen my video on how to use curves I definitely recommend you check it out, I'll link it below for you. So there we go, this is what we started with, our ungraded S-Log2 footage and then here we are with our lookup table, really love the way this retains detail in our shadow areas. Lastly let's take this ungraded footage, S-Log2 from my Sony A7S III rumors video. And for this one, I'm just looking for a really standard but cool looking lookup table that can get this shot looking good 
quickly. So for this last example, let's have a look at the fifth group of lookup tables, the Neumann Films lookup tables, and you just get three. And immediately I saw Sony S-Log and I thought, great, this is gonna be great. But it is a very unusual look and not something that I would use for a shot like this. I then tried the GH5 V-Log lookup table and it's definitely closer to what I'm looking for. However, my favorite of these three has to be the one made for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. I really like what the colors are doing. Of course, all I need to do here is just bring my exposure down a little bit. Of course, being S-Log2, I've overexposed it slightly, but I'm really happy with the way my skin tones look here. Really natural and the colors are nice and punchy. Love the contrast as well. And so here's what we started with, flat, overexposed. And thanks to a lookup table that isn't even designed for Sony footage, I got this. Not too bad for free, eh? And that's it for now. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. I've got a large back catalog of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube recommends this top one for you. And the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.